How are we doing? Yeah, all right, thanks. How are you? I'm not bad. I'm just knack. I was quickly rushing through that, just ready for you. Can oh, you do it? Yes. How good's your Allons-y? My Allons-y? Yeah, how good is it? Can you do a good Allons-y? Allons-y? Like Did you think I should give her a prize as well? Go on then, you oh, can have stop, a prize really? as well. No, 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 no that, that's yours now. Take that away. For me, what is it? So thank, thank you. you very much thank for very joining much, us. Wonder Woman. Hiya. Thank you for having me. No, it's, it's, a it's time. great. I'm a little bit end of the day, end of day two of a Comic Con, so uh, forgive mm. me if I get a little bit tongue tied. That is fine. I have been talking all day. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you're so popular. Everyone just loves to see you. Oh, it's been lovely. Everyone's so friendly here as well. Can I come back? Yeah. Do we want a back? Yeah. Will you have me? Yeah, I've noticed you've been going to a few cons around the country as well. It's I been have great. To meet you. Yeah. Because we're up in my local town recently, Newcastle. I was in your local town. I know. Yes. I tried to come see you, but you're so busy, so I thought, you know what, I'll wait. Oh, I'll and wait. here we are. And here we are. And here we've got a little personal audience with. So. I know. And they're absolutely lovely. They are lovely. Mm. Now, very exciting costumes going on as well. Great cosplay. Got Bill over there. Nice. Where, where's Going the Bill? In. Oh, nice. yes. Bring him in. I like that. You know what? Come here. Yeah, look at there that. There you go. You can have that as well. Congratulations. Brilliant. There we go. Sorry. Well, let's get back to you. It's all right. No worries. So, well, this says something to me because you were only on for one season, including the Christmas episode. Yes, indeed. So you had the toughest job of trying to win the public over. I know. It was, yeah, it was just in and out, really. Wasn't it? A lot of fans, like when they get new companions, they either love them or hate them. But the yeah. one thing I've noticed with uh, Bill, everyone just instantly warm to her. Everyone sort of has their own favourite doctor or favourite companion, but mm. it was really lovely to see the responses from Bill. I mean, even from, from the initial trailer and then from, from episode one, everyone seemed to love her, which is, which is great, because I do too. Mm. Now, I would love to have you back in some capacity. <laughs> oh, yeah. And obviously, you're back, I think it's official you're back in the Christmas episode. It is official, yes. Officially Can we true, it is true. <laughs> Can we expect to see you much in the episode? Or is it going to be very similar to what Karen Gillan did, just like a little cameo, or you're not allowed to say it all? Oh, I'm not allowed to say. I, I knew that. It's, I knew you were going to say that. It's <laughs> good, though. I think you'll like it. Is I it? can say that. There's snow. <laughs> hey! Yeah, Wonder Woman's into that. Yes. Can, can you give us, you know, because uh, I know you've got to be very careful with spoilers. I have, yeah. So let's try something clever. Can you give us five words to describe the Christmas episode? It could be five random words or a sentence of five. Really pushing for the spoilers here, aren't they? Okay. I'm going to try and do something really clever there, but it's not enough words. No, go for it. Um, if you want to do that, do that. It's the Doctor Who Christmas special. That was... <laughs> Six words? Five words? Four words? I don't know. Some words. A little sentence. You're just not going to give me anything, are you? No, no. I mean, there's two Doctors. There's two Tardises. You know that. Mm. I'm in it. It's got oh. Mark Gatiss is in it. Yeah. And David Bradley. And no, David Bradley playing the first Doctor. That's mm. pretty exciting, isn't it? Did everyone see the Children in Need clip that came out the other day? Yeah. What do you think? No. Well, you didn't see it? It's because you've been here. Well, you better go home and Google it then, isn't you? <laughs> it, it's really good. Now, did you get... Again, it, it's spoilers, so I'll try and word this the right way, but... Um, did you get the interact with David Bradley on and offset much? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying guys. Um, I did. <laughs> so what I'd, I'd like to know, um, if you're given the opportunity to come back as Bill, if Chris decides that he'd love Bill to come back with Geordie, would you be interested in that at all? I mean, I love playing Bill and, you know, I've loved being on Doctor Who, so I, I mean, you know, we have to see if the schedules work out, but I'm, you know, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be opposed to, to coming back for a little, a little journey, a little adventure, you know, I mean, it, I've, I've loved it, it's been such an amazing job, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to rule it out, but you know, also no pressure on Chris. You know, we'll we'll pressure do, do we want to see her back? Yeah. Woo! Thank you very much. So just let Chris know all of these people want to be back. <laughs> all right? If you could write your names on a list for me there. We'll start tweeting them. Everyone start tweeting. Bring back home. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> so one, one thing I also loved about the character you played is the impact it had on the LGBT community. Yeah. And, I, and the one thing I've been speaking to friends about as well, I loved how downplayed it was and it wasn't made a big deal. But that was it, really important to me as well, yeah. yeah. I, I think, I'm, 
when they said that uh, Bill was going to be a lesbian, I was like, this is brilliant. But you know, I don't, I, I really don't want her to be like grappling with her sexuality or for her to have to like come out to the doctor as this big thing. You know, I was like, I don't, that, I, I don't think that's a, I don't think that's not the representation I want to give people. Mm. You know, I was like, I think it's really important that she's just happy with her sexuality and really comfortable with it and it's just part of her. But you know, not the most interesting or important or foregrounded part of her. And that, that's the way they handled it. And I was, I was really happy that, you know, that that's, that's the way the guys addressed it. Because I think that's, that's, that's what we need, you know. That's the kind of representation that is, is needed. It's not, you know, I don't walk around being like, hey, I'm mixed race. You know, like, as you, don't, you don't need that kind of representation. It's important to, you know, people's sexuality, people's skin colour, people's, you know, diversity is, is important. But it's important not to be, you know, isolated for it. Yeah, I think you handled the part as well. Yeah, I think a round of applause for that. Yeah. Yeah. Were, were you worried at all, like how your character would come across? Because obviously, the Who fandom is very, very tough at times. Yeah, um, I, you know what? I think I didn't really have time to. I was saying this to someone uh, that I met at the desk earlier. I didn't have time to, you know, think about that mm -hmm. very much. It was. It was, the whole thing was sort of such a whirlwind and then I finished, um, I was doing a play before I started Doctor Who and I finished that on Saturday night mm. and then drove down to Cardiff on Sunday and then started filming Doctor Who on Monday morning. So there was really not much time to think about, you know, the whole sort of expectation of it. And it yeah. It's so full on and it's such a, you know, such a sort of intense hands-on experience, especially filming episode one, which I was pretty much in every scene. So yeah. there, was, there was not much time to think about that, which was good because I think, you know, had I had time to think about the pressure it might have been a lot more scary really mm. but um hello <laughs> we've got some, some new new people who have joined us yes hello get involved Hi. you've been stood on that side you just want to make eye contact uh, <laughs> i always spot a bond. i see your game very good though very right. smart it worked, it worked, it? Yeah. It hi hi pond <laughs> yeah. you know come along pond come on pond come on come on you can come say hi you've made that much effort the walk all the way around come, come say on. hi the film. hello again how you doing yeah. Go on, take it. There you go. You're welcome. A round of applause there. <laughs> Excellent cosplay as well. Well done. Well done. Yeah, we'll prefer Phil Mackey's uh, companion, really. <laughs> <laughs> but you say that to all the companions, don't you? When they're here. Do you know you're my first companion? <gasps> really? Oh my gosh. I feel very honoured. Uh, the honour is all mine. We're getting a bit weird here. Right, let's move on to the next question. <laughs> Um, moving on. So, Sunday. I'm kind of doing this in the backwards order, but how did the part of the companion come about? I know in previous companions I've had code names for the part. Were you yes. told straight away as the companion, or did you go in blind think it was just a random acting part? No, I thought um, when I was first put up for it, it was uh, something called Mean Town, which is an anagram of Woman 10, who is the woman in the 10 series, which is mm. me. Oh, wow. Ah, yeah. So, when I was first put up for it, I was just like, oh, this thing, Mean Town, sounds, sounds pretty good. This character is quite exciting. Um, and then, but before I went to the audition, they did tell me it was um, to be the new companion to Doctor Who, and I was like, ah, I'm never going to get that, am I? <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, like, that was a nice outing for me. It'd be a nice little day to say hello to Andy Pryor, who's the casting director. Um, and just be like, hi, yeah, well, this is nice, cool. Maybe bear me in mind for future projects if you want. But I mean, well, that didn't happen, did it? No. Well, when, I, when I was stuck here, it was so bad. They gave me the job. I'm not sure why, but you know. <laughs> I'm very pleased they did. No, it, it's brilliant. I think in the amount of time you've had to develop the character and get in the public's hearts as well, you've done an amazing job Thank with you. Phil. And we'd love to see you come back in the future as well. And we can't wait to see you in the Christmas episode. Oh, thank and you very much. Thank you so much for coming to MCM and seeing us all. Well, I've had a lovely time. Thank you all for coming to see me. It was, it's been really, really nice. Thank you. Well, I make sure as well. It's the weekend and you come to see me. Well, make sure you come back next year. We'd love to see you. I will. I definitely will. Thank you very much for having me. No, no. I think we need a huge round of applause for the one and only Pearl Mackey. Thank you.